Reasoning models like DeepSeek R1 aren't like the AI models most people are used to. These are specialized systems designed to process information differently, solving problems in a deliberate and logical way. Instead of rushing to generate a response, they take the time to think through complex tasks. This is made possible by a technique called chain of thought reasoning, similar to what we could have seen in OpenAI's O1 preview model. It's a method that allows AI to break down complicated queries into smaller, more manageable steps, ensuring greater accuracy and reliability. This capability has become increasingly important as AI systems are being used for tasks that demand precision, like solving math problems or tackling logic-based queries. Now, OpenAI made headlines in September 2024 with its O1 model, which was designed with chain of thought reasoning at its core. It quickly became the benchmark for reasoning models, thanks to its ability to handle tasks that traditional large language models struggled with. But now, DeepSeek has stepped into the spotlight with R1 Light Preview, claiming its model can rival and even outperform O1 in specific areas. And this isn't just talk. DeepSeek has released performance metrics showing that their model outshines O1 on two critical benchmarks, Amy and Math. Amy evaluates how well AI systems can reason through real-world scenarios, while Math focuses on solving intricate word problems. These aren't just numbers on a chart. They're a direct measure of how effective an AI model is at reasoning and problem solving. Now, DeepSeek's model also demonstrated its ability to handle tricky, unconventional questions that have stumped other AI systems. Questions like, how many letter R's are in the word strawberry, or which is larger, 9.11 or 9.9, .9, may seem simple at first glance, but they require a level of precision that many models lack. R1 Light Preview handled these with ease, outperforming even advanced systems like GPT-40 and Anthropic's Claude family of models. One of the standout features of DeepSeek R1 is its transparency. It doesn't just provide an answer, it shows you the reasoning behind it. Every step is laid out for the user to see, making the process more understandable and trustworthy. Essentially watching a skilled problem solver walk you through their thought process, explaining each decision as they go. That's what DeepSeek R1 offers, and it's a feature that sets it apart from other AI systems. However, no system is perfect. Users have noted that it struggles with certain types of logic problems, like playing tic-tac-toe. Interestingly, OpenAI's O1 faces similar challenges in this area, which highlights a broader limitation in current reasoning models. Another issue, though not a deal-breaker for everyone, is the model's susceptibility to jailbreaking. Despite having safeguards in place to prevent misuse, some users have found ways to bypass these restrictions. For example, one person managed to prompt the model into generating a recipe for methamphetamine, a serious ethical concern that underscores the importance of robust security measures in AI systems. DeepSeek R1's handling of politically sensitive topics is another area that has drawn attention. Since the model was developed in China, it adheres to the country's strict regulations on AI. When asked about controversial issues like the Tiananmen Square protests, Chinese President Xi Jinping's policies, or China's potential actions regarding Taiwan, the model simply responds with, not sure how to approach this type of question. This isn't surprising given China's requirement for AI systems to align with core socialist values. While this approach ensures compliance with local laws, it limits the model's applicability in global contexts where such restrictions might not be acceptable. Despite these challenges, the achievements behind R1 Light Preview are impressive. DeepSeek isn't just a small startup with big dreams. It's backed by serious financial and technological resources. High Flyer Capital Management, the hedge fund supporting DeepSeek, has invested heavily in its AI infrastructure. Their latest server cluster, equipped with 10,000 NVIDIA A100 GPUs, reportedly cost around $138 million to set up. This level of investment speaks volumes about the company's commitment to advancing AI technology. Liang Wenfeng, the computer science graduate who founded DeepSeek, has made it clear that the goal is to push AI toward superintelligence. R1 Light Preview is a major step in that direction. Right now, the model is available for public testing through DeepSeek Chat on the company's website. Users can access it for free, but there's a limit of 50 messages per day for non-paying users. DeepSeek also plans to release an API, which will make it easier for developers to integrate the model into their own applications. This aligns with the company's commitment to open source development. 
Previous models like DeepSeek V2.5 were praised for their advanced capabilities and accessibility, forcing competitors like ByteDance, Baidu, and Alibaba to rethink their pricing strategies. By making its technology more accessible, DeepSeek is positioning itself as a leader in the open source AI community. This shift toward reasoning models like R1 Lite Preview and OpenAI's O1 is part of a broader trend in AI development. For years, the dominant approach was to improve AI systems by throwing more data and computing power at them, a strategy known as scaling laws. While this approach has delivered impressive results, it's becoming clear that it has limits. Researchers are now exploring new techniques like test time compute, which gives models extra processing time to refine their answers. This method underpins both O1 and R1 Lite Preview and represents a significant shift in how AI is developed. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella recently described this as the emergence of a new scaling paradigm, emphasizing its importance for the future of AI. While DeepSeek is making headlines, Google, for instance, recently updated its Gemini chatbot with a memory function that allows it to remember user preferences and tailor responses accordingly. This feature is only available to subscribers of Google One AI Premium, which costs $20 per month. By comparison, OpenAI made ChatGPT's memory functionality free for all users back in September, making it far more accessible. Gemini's memory function can store details like a user's favorite foods or specific interests, making future interactions more personalized. Users can even instruct the chatbot on what to remember by using phrases like don't forget or always mention. While this adds a layer of convenience, it also raises concerns about data privacy. Google has assured users that stored data won't be used to train its AI models, but skepticism remains, particularly given the broader debates around data security in AI systems. What's even more interesting is the recent claim that AI could achieve near-infinite memory by 2025, which sounds almost unbelievable. Microsoft AI CEO Mustafa Suleiman made this bold prediction, explaining how this breakthrough could completely redefine our relationship with technology. With near infinite memory, AI wouldn't forget past conversations. Instead, it would build on them, creating interactions that feel natural and continuously evolving. Suleiman called this a major turning point for AI, one where it could fully step into its role as a co-pilot in our lives. His vision for Microsoft's AI co-pilot project is to create systems that go beyond simply answering questions. These AI co-pilots could act as advisors, teachers, or even companions, offering personalized guidance for everything from learning to managing your health. And it's not just about memory. Suleiman highlighted advancements in real-time audio generation, with models like Notebook LM, which can produce conversations so seamless they feel almost human. Pair this with memory and emotional understanding and AI could eliminate the need for explicit instructions like typing or clicking buttons, transforming how we interact with machines entirely. The developments from DeepSeek, OpenAI, Google, and now Microsoft are painting a picture of an AI-driven world that's increasingly interactive, personalized, and intelligent. With DeepSeek's commitment to reasoning, Google's push for personalization through memory, and Microsoft's vision of AI co-pilots with near-infinite memory, the trajectory of AI development is shifting toward a more intuitive, human-centric approach. These systems are becoming partners in learning, problem-solving, and everyday decision-making. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.